you know your child. I knew there was something wrong. I knew it on that day six, because I will never forget asking my mom that morning, mom, why are his feet purple? And it was because he was hypothermic. I'm Nancy. This is my husband, Rich. This is our son, Charlie, and this is our daughter, Sophia. Charlie was a typical birth planned C-section and at his first pediatric checkup at six days old, he was diagnosed with septicemia and suspected bacterial meningitis. He was 93 degrees in the doctor's office and I remember the doctor looking at me and saying, do you think your husband can drive you to the emergency room or do I need to call you an ambulance? I mean, he was touch and go. He, he could have he passed on right there at six days, and he fought his way through all of that. We knew right then that he didn't give up. Charlie recovered after 30 days in the hospital, and we left that hospital visit thinking we were putting these moments behind us. He'd be hospitalized two other times before he turned nine months old. He was no longer growing. Um, borderline failure to thrive and so I was really concerned and I called early intervention services. He has that history of uh, the bacterial meningitis, so a global insult uh, to his brain when he was very young. Yeah, obviously the brain is responsible for controlling the, uh, the nervous system and the muscles, so that impacted uh, those systems that then impacted his ability to be able to uh, develop typically. No, you just gotta wipe his mouth. Good job. I'm gonna put some oil in it. Yeah, the doctor said he needs to have oil, right? Charlie just would not meet typical mile markers for development. We were looking to start private therapeutic services and we started services with ChildServe in 2018. Parents tell us time and again, they often come to us after exhausting other possibilities and our team members at ChildServe find ways to improve the lives of their children through the specialized services we offer here. It's about hope. And we needed all of those services. We couldn't do it alone. There's no way we were prepared to deal with that. There, I don't think any parent that comes up with a special needs child has any idea the amount of work it takes if you want your child to thrive and succeed and live the life that they deserve. We do physical therapy, occupational therapy, feeding therapy, speech therapy. You can tell me. I want. You said, I want. When I first met Charlie, he was working on what we call like pre-walking skills, so getting in and out of standing, um, crawling. He couldn't even sit in place, like he was still falling over to the side and working on um, sit, like sitting balance. When we got here, he Could couldn't not. even crawl. I didn't know that he'd ever be able to crawl. Mommy. It's our dreams coming true. Come on, do it. There you are, big guy. You're standing. What we're working on now is walking. He's so, so close to getting it. He needs to like just the littlest amount of support. When I first met him, I didn't know if that would be, you know, a feasible goal for him. Yeah, I don't think we should have any end goal with any of these kids because um, over the years I have found that these kids surprise me left and right. That's what makes child serve special. People who don't see Charlie and say, that's not a possibility for him. They see Charlie and they say, look at this great support system he has. How can we find a way to meet this family with where they're at and get them what they need to help him get to that next level. To see where Charlie came from, how rewarding is that? That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's what, that's why I'm in this field. That's, 
that will keep me young. He's always been a fighter. He just needs people to help him get his voice out. You know, he's kind of trapped inside, but if he has a conduit like his sister or his gate trainer or his family, then we're able to help him communicate and we're able to share his story. And every time we do that, we connect with another family, we help another family, and that's really what we're supposed to be doing.